Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, TensorFlow 2 is out, and I wrote up a little script that's basically a copy paste from the help documents. And what this script will do is uh, on Google Colab, we can run it and install TensorFlow 2 Alpha. And while that's doing its thing, let's go ahead and upload our target document, which is uh, a copy of the Game of Thrones book generator. Click on open and that'll load in the background. There it is. And this is still loading. Let's scroll down. Successfully installed Google Pasta. I don't know what that is. Import TensorFlow as TensorFlow. And we'll do a sanity check. And there it is, TensorFlow 2.0. And then another sanity check just to make sure which Python are running. IPython 1.5. 5.5, excuse me. <clears throat> and now we're going to upload the TF1 script, which is right there. And the original command right here, the original command uh, is tf-upgrade v2. But since it's a Python Jupyter notebook, in this case, collab notebook as well, you have to put a bang at the beginning in order for it to work. So we click on that, and it calls the conversion file. And you'll see over here in a few seconds, refresh, we've got a, we've got a TF2. And that's interesting because the uh, the renaming overwrote the copy of, which is a bit surprising. And uh, this particular script we don't need. Delete that. And so it says make sure to read the detailed log report. Let's take a look at that. I double click on it, it will load, but it's not editable, which is a bit surprising given this is a Google Colab. You'd think they would provide a means for us to uh, edit the document. Okay. Now, the copy or the TF2. Let's take a look at that. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen when I try to open it. It opens up in a text editor. Okay. So this is the Python script. Now uh, the, got, the Game of Thrones book generator was a Python Jupyter notebook. Uh, so I will take some time and reload this as a Jupyter notebook. Uh, and as a collab notebook in the future. Long story short, the TensorFlow conversion from TF1 to TensorFlow 2 on Google Colab does work. I hope this has been helpful for you. It certainly was a learning progress process for me. Thank you for watching and happy computing.